This is a mouse, and it's the only thing I'm allowed to edit with in Premiere Pro. So that means this keyboard here, well, it needs to go. Ah, it won't break. Ah. Ah. Not only will I be editing with just a mouse, I'll also only have two hours to complete this project. Honestly though, I think with two hours, I'm gonna have plenty of time to make this work. When I started this project, I had no idea where to start. I mean, editing without a keyboard? What was I thinking? It's driving me crazy and I'm wasting time and I don't know what to do. I knew beforehand there was not gonna be much I can do inside of Premiere with just a mouse. So I had to figure something out. Thankfully, I came up with an idea. I found out that my computer already had an on-screen keyboard built into its software. So that meant I had a keyboard, it was just extremely slow to use because I could only interact with it with my mouse. Little did I know that this was gonna be the one thing that made this entire project even possible. Before I started editing the video, I wanted to get some training. So I took a test to see how many clicks I could get per second. Come on, stay above six. Stay above six, come on. 5.9 clicks per second, I don't know. I knew beforehand that there was not gonna be much I could do inside of Premiere with just a mouse. So I decided to keep things simple and only use stock footage. This allowed me to take some of the more complicated parts of editing out of the equation because I already had beautiful footage to work with. I decided that my best bet was to tell my story through sound. So my plan was to use epidemic sound to find all of my sound effects to create a story with sound. I was quickly starting to see just how complicated this project would be. Only having a mouse greatly limited me on what I was able to do inside of Premiere Pro, but it also limited me on how fast I can do things. Basically, I had this whole video planned out before I started. I can't even do speed ramps. That was 50% of the video. I don't know what I'm gonna do. The two hours I had given myself was quickly starting to feel like it wasn't gonna be enough. I didn't know what to do. As time went on, I got used to using my mouse and things started to speed up. After the first 30 minutes, I had all the clips laid out on the timeline and things were starting to finally come together. There was only one problem. I had 50 seconds of footage and I had no idea how I was going to put sound over all of it with only 90 minutes left. Using my on-screen keyboard, I started looking on epidemic sound as fast as possible. I went clip by clip and started adding sound to make this video come alive. Once I started putting my sounds on the timeline, I noticed a problem. Without a keyboard, I couldn't keyframe the audio's volume, which meant there was no easy way to blend these sounds together. Without that, I had no idea if this effect would work at all. My hands are starting to hurt from clicking so much. I need my keyboard back. I quickly started to realize that just because of the sheer amount of footage on the timeline, I probably wasn't gonna be able to finish the full 50 seconds. So I had to start cutting some clips out. As the time was going down, I was making progress, but I was having complications. Traditionally with video editing, you make multiple passes through a project, but because I was on such a time crunch, it wasn't looking like this was gonna be possible. I have 23 minutes left, and I've deleted six clips of footage already, and I have to find something to replace that. So now I gotta go look for more footage, put that footage in the timeline, and then put sound on that. I didn't think it was gonna end up like this, but I might not finish. As it came down to the last five minutes, I was starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel. Things were coming together, and I was finally starting to see my vision become a reality. At this point, all I had time left for was to go through and double check that everything looked okay and there wasn't any major mistakes. That's it. I'm done, I guess. I don't really know if I did good or not, we'll see. But nonetheless, I created a video on a mouse. That's crazy. Ah! I think it's time for some results. Let's do it. Ah, okay, hear me out, hear me out. Stay with me here. Okay. Airplane sounds. Explosion. Transition now. Was this my favorite project I've ever worked on? Absolutely not. This was terrible. It gave me a headache. It somehow made me hate Premiere more than I already do. How is that even possible? It's pretty crazy that that entire video was edited with just this. But what's even more crazy to me and what this makes me realize more than anything else is that people in the past didn't even have computers to edit on 
and they still manage to produce crazy films. The bottom line is it comes down to just how comfortable you are with the gear around you and your creative skill set. Subscribe!